Uh, I, I think actually I will be continuing in the, let's say, great uh, scaring future stuff because uh, I would be actually liking to talk about, uh, yeah, well, let's say the current situation regarding the IPv6 because it is a part of my uh, dissertation topic and uh, I'm actually uh, at the university researching uh, the explo uh, let's see how often we are having exploited the vulnerabilities in uh, IPv6 in comparison to the IPv4. Uh, and uh, when I'm actually talking in general with anyone about my topic, uh, then uh, the people are bringing up like, hey, but why, why you actually care about that? Yeah, like no one cares about IPv6. Yeah, actually, mm, it is sometime in the future. Yeah, it is actually maybe implemented somewhere, who knows where, in the wild, yeah, by, by some ISPs, etc. Yeah, I haven't seen it in the production. And um, then you take a look and uh, you see that actually 45% of the traffic to Google is currently going through IPv6. So I would say, yeah, it is already actually something what we are somehow having, uh, what is with us, what is with us for, with us for a super long time, but uh, no one actually took really care about really understanding that, yeah, so... Yeah, all of us are somehow here actually researchers or incident responders or actually another uh, infosec junkies. So I would like to ask you actually, who of you is sure that actually in the moment when uh, your security analyst would be dealing with the logs in the IPv6 would be really sure that they really understand? Is anyone here? Because I would love to see the person, even I'm not considered actually in my team are such people, honestly. I, I didn't see one. Yeah, yeah, they're just, they're just very few, but uh, more likely really the people actually who really take the care, who are super paranoid and uh, maybe took extra, extra classes in the networking, yeah. Uh, so I was actually uh, trying to go into the depth actually how we got into this issue, because since I have started to be somehow interested in the PCs, yeah, then it was already somehow there, so... I wanted to know, okay, where is the moment when we have fucked up? And uh, it was pretty long time ago, I would say, in the general, yeah. So in the year 89, actually, the IPv4 has been introduced, yeah. So the stuff, actually, which is being taught at, let's say, really the, the absolute basics, yeah, when to get into the networking and network security and, and IT, etc. Then, actually, 89, for its commercial ISP, and, and actually, in the year 99, has happened already quite interesting thing, because... There has been already took, taken into the consideration actually the current situation which we are having with, let's say, all the classes which are segregated cannot be working like forever and ever. Yeah, actually, there has to be somehow established a group which will solve some kind of an interaction activity between actually the various IP classes. And then comes the year 92. And it's, it's I would say, a significant year for. Me actually twice. First thing is actually that um, uh, that uh, it is actually a year when it has been found out that yeah, IPv4 is not something what will be enough for us forever. Yeah, we will actually have to think about let's say what to do next. Yeah, how to develop. Yeah, it's already like 32 years back, and and practically you can imagine let's say this wisdom, yeah, this knowledge as me because actually I'm also made in this year. So practically if let's say the this this knowledge to the humanity and the IT community would be a human being, it can be practically me. And it's actually quite a long time ago, right? Uh, then actually in the year 93 has been implemented as one of the things uh, this year, yeah. So practically uh, there has been already thought about, okay, we really need to have some kind of inter-class communication, connectivity. We really cannot have actually separated individual blocks. And in the year 94 has been actually implemented net, yeah, the, the thing actually which is saving our asses for 20 years. No, not 20, sorry, 30 years. Uh, it's e even more. And uh, then in the year 96, has someone came with the idea, okay, maybe there is a protocol which is called IPv6. By the way, in between was really IPv5, but it just was born and died in just in the laboratory. It was not much useful. And since the year 96, there was actually something, okay, this working concept here, yeah, it can work. Then actually some companies were thinking, okay, maybe we'll actually prepare for that. We'll have some site functionality for this and so on. Ten years of nothing, like almost nothing. And then actually in the year 2011, uh, Iana has announced, hey, we are in really deep trouble. Yeah, they actually asked uh, last uh, slash eight block has been assigned and there are no IP addresses back left, like, they are all owned by someone. Yeah, we actually are really running into the shortage. 
So then actually a few enthusiasts and some companies who took it really seriously uh, have uh, uh, announced uh, and, uh, and also done uh, IPv6 World Day. When has been actually the concept tested, it was funny. Like, okay, it can really work, but it is a concept which we can really rely on in the future. We have to rely because we actually didn't <coughs> develop something better yeah, in the last few years. Uh, and uh, then actually in the year 2017, so practically... 25 years after we knew that we will need a replacement for the IPv4 has been finally officially announced, okay, what will be next? Uh, but of course, unfortunately, it was not enough because um, then uh, all the vendors had to, for example, think about, uh, uh, let's say, preparedness of actually their tooling, etc. because, you know, Plenty of the IPS providers, firewall providers, providers of next generation firewalls and actually another, another actually fancy network security tooling have announced, for example, four years ago only that, uh, yeah, we are actually finally having the same functionalities for the IPv6 as of IPv4, what is not nice, right? And, uh, um, if we take actually into the, into the, let's say, um, consideration that, uh, already five years ago from now, already like one quarter of the traffic to the Google was already through the IPv6, then you see that it was actually pretty underestimated for decades, yeah? And um, I, would, I would expect that in the current situation, uh, there would be, for example, put also bigger stress on some kind of education, yeah, of let's say the future network specialist and so on. So those of you who have somehow pretty recently, for example, passed some kind of... Uh, uh, university, uh, university, uh, um, studies, etc. you know that it is not good. And unfortunately, if you take a look, for example, at the CCNA curriculum, um, this is what you can find there about the IPv6. That's all. Nothing more. Actually, it is the addition from this year. So, where the people are supposed to learn this? Who knows? But, Definitely, actually, one day it will be necessary because that's, I would say, quite bitter truth. And uh, sooner or later, we all have to actually learn it and deploy it. That's it. With Nat. <laughs>